now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. At least two people are dead after a stolen car crash on Kiefer Boulevard. The Sacramento County Sheriff says a stolen Tesla crashed into a minivan head on, seriously injuring the people inside. Law enforcement located the stolen car in Rancho Cordova, tried to pull it over, leading to a chase, which ended in the deadly crash. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office arrested a 63-year-old man on gun charges after officers were called to his home in Brownville because of an alleged assault. James Thornton was booked into Yuba County Jail on gun charges, including being a felon in possession of a firearm and manufacturing firearm. The West Sacramento Police Department says a woman was arrested after a traffic stop, during which they found evidence that she had been involved with stealing mail. Police then searched the motel room she was staying in and found a USBS key, credit cards, and altered checks. Fairfield police are now warning about card skimmers on ATM. These ones you see were taken off ATMs at the Wells Fargo Bank on Jackson Street in Fairfield. The department says these skimmers use a small camera to capture your PIN and then an insert to steal your card information. They're also commonly found on gas pumps. The Modesto Fire Department says they responded to the costless foods on Hatch Road and Ceres for reports of a fire there. The department says they were able to put the fire out before it spread to the stock room. The Stanislaus Regional Fire Department is now investigating how it started. Cal Fire says the vegetation fire was contained in Shingle Springs today. The department says the fire grew to nearly 12 acres. Cal Fire burn permits are still suspended on all western slopes of El Dorado County and in Amador County. Today, the State Department confirmed that 29 Americans have died in Israel as part of the conflict there. At least 16 more are still unaccounted for. The State Department is in contact with their families and working to find out where the missing citizens are. A funeral was held for a video journalist who was killed in a missile strike in southern Lebanon. He was killed while helping Helping to provide a live signal for broadcasters. The Lebanese militia is trading fire with Israeli military near the border of those two countries. Two endangered Sumatran tiger cubs were revealed for the first time at the San Diego Zoo. The cubs were born in captivity in San Diego. They're part of the zoo's efforts to revive endangered species. Finally, the Golden Sky Festival is running today and tomorrow at Discovery Park in Sacramento. Visit Sacramento says the festival is set to have $12 million impact on the local economy over the weekend. About 30,000 people are expected to attend. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.